I want to give you an idea of what transpired over the next seven and a half weeks. Again, day two. Uh, just something else I wanted to document. As you can see, the discoloration in my foot, this actually goes away when I put my foot up. But it doesn't take long to get back to this. So I really am, am still trying to focus on having a lot of time in my day to keep my foot elevated, um, just so that, you know, blood isn't pooling in this area. So yeah, the incision is actually healing very nicely. I do um, have a modified shower every day. I am washing it, I'm not scrubbing it, I'm just gently soaping it, rinsing it, and dabbing it off with a towel. It does get a lot of air, so uh, that's healing very nicely. I'm quite happy with that. Um, you know, if I have to have a scar, <laughs> at least it's a tidy one. Also interesting, actually. So my shoulder. I had a lot of green right after the accident, but it was all it was all just sort of in this area. And now as you can see, I have this dark sort of line of bruising at the edge of my shoulder. That's new. That's the update for today. Thanks! I'm actually wondering if a lot of my limited range of motion currently is because of the amount of swelling. I have obviously full range of motion, whereas in this one it's just really, really, really tight. And I know I'm comparing apples to oranges because there is no comparison, but... And actually I have seen quite a bit of improvement even in this because I almost couldn't do a rotation. Even just yesterday, it felt like I could only flex and point, and it was very, very limited. So I'm starting to get a little bit of movement side to side, which is really nice. Yeah. And I'm sitting in a rocking chair, perpendicular to the ground. Um, that's a stretch there and I try and keep my heel on the floor. I can gently rock the chair just a tiny, tiny bit forward without putting any weight on my foot and just trying to get a little bit more of a flex in that foot. It just is so tight. I don't really have anywhere to go and it's such a weird feeling because I'm feeling a pull kind of in the heel and the back of my ankle, a little bit up the side of my ankle, but it's not like pain, it's just really tight. It's almost like there's nowhere for it to go. It just can't move any further than that. So just really interesting experience. So it's been 19 days since the accident, um, 17 days since I had ankle surgery, and 6 days since the staples and splint have been removed. Um, I've had 6 days of starting these exercises. I still can't wait bare for several weeks, but uh, just wanted to show the improvement, the amount of range of motion that I now have in just 6 days. So it's coming, slowly but surely. Basically my toes are moving very very well. Um, I have a little bit of numbness in the baby toe still but uh, I can definitely move my toes well which uh, I remember the first day I was barely able to do anything so this is very encouraging. Flexion and uh, extension of the ankle is is what's been the tightest and it's not painful it's just difficult to get through the proper range of motion. So this is as far as I'm able to bring my right foot back. It just feels weird to be pulling with all my might and still not have that range of motion. 
So yeah, that's as far as I can go with flexion. That's as far as I can go with extension. Um, looking at it sideways, there is substantial improvement there. It feels weird and a little bit cringy, but not horrible. See, even circles are not bad by comparison. You know, I'm, I'm happy with this. The thing I'm having the most difficulty with is uh, eversion and inversion. There is very, very little movement here still. Um, pulling, you know, to look at the outside of your foot, to look at the inside of your foot, and without moving my whole leg, I'm really not getting a whole lot. And obviously, this is what I'm talking about. Inversion, eversion, lots of movement in the good ankle. And the bad ankle is really just kind of, I get a token little bit of movement there. And I think this is going to be the key over time to be able to just go a little bit further, a little bit further, and get that range of motion back. And I suspect a lot of it is that there's still quite a bit of swelling in the joint, so it's only able to move so far. If I push up a little bit and come onto my toes, I can actually feel uh, the gastrocnemius muscle coming on, which is a good sign. And again, not putting too much weight. Uh, just enough to be able to kind of feel those muscles activate and start to strengthen the bones back to hopefully normal sooner than later. So I do this twice a day. Yeah, it's making a difference.
looking at my arm here. So I've been out of the sling since week three, and I still will bring my arm in and have this position. Well, really, it was only two weeks in the sling. So I have to remind myself that this arm can now move, and uh, I have very good range of motion back.
guys. Well, I'm very excited to share with you just the next transition. I have moved on to not using the iWalk, just kind of putting some pressure on my heel. I'm not really comfortable rolling through the ball of my foot and I don't want to push it because I'm not officially at the six week mark yet. I have not officially been cleared to wait there yet. I've decided to transition to this because it's comfortable. I'm not pushing it and also because uh, with the eye walk after five and a half weeks my knee is starting to bother me. That's probably to be expected. Nothing wrong with the eye walk, just a difference in body posture for that long. You know, my normal gait and it's a different position and my body's becoming uncomfortable with it. So in order to not push that further and potentially do more damage to something else. I'm close enough to that six week mark, I think. The bones have healed to the point now where I can start to transition to assisted movement. I'm not really doing a whole lot of weight bearing. I'm really focusing on leaning into my crutch. Of course, I can't use another crutch because my clavicle is also still healing. I'm not allowed to push down with that arm. I just wanted to do a quick video today. This has been my first day, full day, walking without the iWalk, walking with a crutch. I'm actually really impressed at how quickly this has become comfortable. No pain, well, a little bit of just funkiness in the ankle, but it just is coming back to that flexibility thing. The purpose of this video actually, it's a little bit bittersweet, believe it or not. You'd think I'd be sick of of that knee crutch, the eye walk that I was using, but honestly, I really have to just give a shout out. This eye walk 2.0 has been a contraption that gave me freedom over the course of five and a half weeks when I would have either been in a wheelchair or scooting around, I don't even know how. Because I broke my clavicle and my ankle, I was not able to use crutches. My father-in-law and my husband sourced this. You'll see some other footage of me using it, but it really has been a godsend. So to the engineers and the makers and sellers of iWalk 2.0, you gave me a life for five and a half weeks when I think I would have felt pretty hopeless. But now I've graduated. Now I am just with one crutch. I'm, I've progressed very well with uh, just using a crutch and walking with the air boot which is another fantastic creation of modern medicine so we really are truly blessed my journey continues i look forward to graduating back into shoes uh, i'll keep you posted Okay, so it's D-Day, day 41. I just went to see the surgeon today and I have been given the all clear to walk again without the boot, without the crutch, as soon as I can get away from all that stuff. So, oh my goodness, but you know what? It feels awful. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, but it feels weird. So literally my first few steps with no crutch, no boot. So this is how we're doing. I'm walking, yes indeed, I'm walking.
haven't started physio yet. I still have another few days before I begin physio. Having said that, I have been working on range of motion exercises that the surgeon gave me, but I definitely have a big issue with this movement. External rotation due to the collarbone break. The farthest I can go from my body is here. This is week eight. Actually, my journey is not through yet. I haven't started driving again yet. Now that's a huge factor. All I can tell you is be patient. And our bodies are meant to heal. I, I truly believe that. Hopefully this journey can inspire you. Thanks.